George Medley runs a multi-million dollar auto recycling company in Denver, Colorado. He doesn't care much about money, but he does care about giving money away. Money is a tool. Money is not my God. God has given us access to money that we can sow into the lives of other people. Quite a change for a man who was once a drug addicted criminal. I was a very greedy person. I made money off the backs of other people's addiction and I didn't have any conscience about it. He'd been arrested dozens of times and I bailed him out each time and I prayed that this time would be different. The only source of legitimate income for George, his wife Irene and their growing family was a small tow truck. Irene took to the wheel when George was in jail. Now I'd get in that tow truck, go pick up cars. Barely able to pay the bills, she relied on food banks. Waiting in a food bank line to get some food because my budget was like 30 bucks a month for food. In 2004, George was arrested for the last time. And for the first time, he didn't blame anyone but himself. I couldn't stand to look at myself in the mirror and I realized that I was the one that had a problem. Back in prison, his life changed. And somebody left a little track, a Bible track on the floor of the jail cell. I read it and I uh, thought about it. I opened the Bible up and then God started reminding me of all the crooked things that I did. And then I knew my soul was in jeopardy and I cried out to God and asked him to forgive me. And he did. George's next step followed a message he heard about giving to others, even while in prison. I'd get my commissary and I gave most of it away to other people that didn't have anything. Eight months later, George was released from prison. His journey from greed to generous giving became more astonishing to Irene every day. There were times when he'd say, you know, Irene, the Lord wants me to give this truck to this man. He was driving a cheap little car and giving an 03 pickup truck to a man. And I thought, as long as he's being directed by God, I don't have a problem with that. I could trust him. Then George says he received a plan from the Lord. That he would give me an income producing asset through the automotive business that I could use as a resource to help people. Two years later, George launched Metal Movers. The company made a $500,000 profit the first year. That's when George dedicated 50% of his warehouse space to build a church, complete with a food bank and clothes for the needy. When you obey the Lord, he blesses you. George says that as their profits increased, so did their giving. Last year, 40% of their profits went to help others. That's a hefty sum considering that last year's profits were $9 million. He's uh, definitely provided for us financially, but he's also uh, allowed me and my wife to use those resources to help a lot of people, and it takes a lot of money to do that, and we spend a lot of money doing that. I don't care if it took a million dollars to save one soul. That soul is worth a million dollars. I was greedy for money. I'd do anything to get it, but God broke that spirit of greed that I had and replaced it with the spirit of generosity.